A map is basically a, a file that is created that parses data from one format into another. So it becomes like a roadmap, per se. You're getting an application file from your Oracle system, your SAP system, whatever your ERP system is outputting, say, a, a PO file. The EDI map takes that format and converts it into the EDI format, putting it in the proper sequence, matching it to the segments and the qualifiers. That way, when it's sent, you are a recipient of the file. They have an EDI map that then takes the EDI X12 format that you created, and then it kind of reverses it and puts it into the format of their ERP system. So essentially what it does is it allows you know, an application file to become EDI and an EDI file to become an application file so that each system can go over and understand those files. ITE uses a couple mapping tools. We have Gentran and we also have the B2B integrator on the IDX. However, you don't necessarily need to have a similar mapping tool to work with the IDX because once it's created, it's following the X12 standard. So really whatever mapping software you choose is up to your own needs and what your, your, your price thresholds are because once you're at the standard, they all really are compatible.